In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a JMS message and receive a durable response using Tipco Business Studio for Business Work 6 or Business Works Container Edition. You will create two Business Works processes, a publisher process and a subscriber process. The publisher process has JMS send message activity which sends a message on a topic. The subscriber process has JMS receive message activity which subscribes to the topic sent by the publisher. Also, the JMS receive message activity is configured as durable, allowing the messages to be received later if the receiver is offline. So let's get started. Give the workspace and click OK. Now click on File, New Project. Click on BusinessWorks Application Module, click Next. Give the project name as Durable Subscriber. Select the deployment target, AppSpace and Tipco Cloud. Click on Next. Click finish. Now go to processes and a durable subscriber package. Click on the process and let's rename the process. Click on the bulb. Give the name as durable subscriber process. Click OK. Now close this. Click on the process. Now let's add JMS receive message activity. Go to palette library. Click on JMS. Drag and drop JMS receive message. Now click on the add button and select a log under general activities now let's configure jms receive message first create a jms connection click on create shared resource accept the generic name and in the drop down select the jms messaging style as topic and give the destination name as topic.sample. Now click on the checkbox for the durable subscription and give a subscription name for the durable subscription. Now save and click on the log, log activity. In the message, let's just give a message saying message received on the topic is and from the data source click on jms receive message body and map it click on save this completes our durable subscriber process now go on the package click on Create a new business process. Give the name as publisher process and click finish. Inside the publisher process, let's go to general activities and give a timer, which is a starter activity. Now let's add a log from general activities and let's log a message saying sending a message to the subscriber click on save Add one more activity from JMS 
which is JMS send message. Go to the general tab and choose the existing JMS connection we have configured for the subscriber and give the same destination name which is topic.sample Click on save This has completed the configuration of JMS send message and in the body let's try to send a simple test message saying sending a test message on the durable subscriber click on save and close this process now we have to configure the JMS connection let's choose connection type as gen direct and messaging style as q topic give the provider url as localhost and port 722 make sure the ems on the server is up and running give the client id as 500 and try to test the connection now let's test this application click on debug configurations now we will try to first publish the message on the particular topic the application has started and if you see the log message sending a message to subscriber and now let's go ahead and see the topic it has one pending message which we just posted and one durable subscription which we have configured in the other process now let's try to receive that message go to debug configurations this time let's select the durable subscriber process and let's see if we receive that message on that particular topic the application has started and we have received the message that we have posted and the message received on this topic is sending a test message on the durable subscriber now go ahead and see the topic it has zero pending messages which means we have received the message on our durable subscriber this completes the demo on the durable subscription on how to create it in tipco business works thank you